if I see that white folks are concerned, then people of color need to be terrified. And what we're seeing right now, particularly in the women's march, is that there are a lot of white women and white people who are saying what is happening with our country is very dangerous. And we know that the most marginalized communities will in fact be impacted first. So on March 8th, we on International Women's Day, women across the world are being asked to stay home, no paid la labor or unpaid labor because we do a lot of things that we're not paid for. And to specifically refrain from purchasing uh, products and items from big box stores, from you know corporations and, and, uh, and, and try to support small businesses and local businesses. And lastly, we're asking folks to wear the color red. So even if you have to go to work, you can wear red in solidarity. And still, even if you have to go to work, pack your lunch, figure out ways not to spend money um, unless you are supporting, again, a small business. Protesting itself is not enough, which is why we uh, step to the next level of asking people to sacrifice, you know, being a part of a strike. All of these things work together. You can't do one thing and expect that the walls will come tumbling down. It's going to take multiple levels of action, activism, and resistance in order to ensure that some level of democracy is preserved in this country.